I truly believe that a good matchmaker listens to is able to pull the um, pull from where you are inside to be able to bring the best out in you so that when you're going out there you're knowing who you are you're knowing what it is that you're looking for but it's also having that matchmaker have you live in the moment to enjoy that person that you get a chance to meet so I would absolutely say a good matchmaker is someone that can keep you real. When um, I bring two people together, I'm looking at so many different aspects. One thing I've learned is many times we get together with what we know. And so when I'm looking at matching, I'm looking at people's socioeconomics. I'm looking at what they're physically attracted to. I'm looking at their interests. But most importantly, I'm also looking at what some of their values are. Values are huge because we can have the most attractive male or a partner or female partner. But I have to tell you, that only lasts so long. Mm -hmm. And if you have equal values or similar values or you're on the same page as that person, you'll find that you have more in common, that you stick together a little bit more because you have similar beliefs. What I do is very personalized. You're talking to the person that meets the other people. So you're not looking and hoping that someone else is picking them. Um, you're not hoping that that picture really is who they are. Um, you're not guess second guessing who that person is. I am the person that's picking the other person. I know you and I know them. And I know where both of them are looking. I can call them up and ask them a few more questions even before I put you out. So that's the difference, is you're getting very personalized service. You don't want that chemistry, that wow factor right off the bat. What you want is to say, wow, this person's interesting. I want to get to know them a little bit more. I want to see what they're all about. And then you carry on and watch that chemistry come. Chemistry comes in so many different factors. But we are so accustomed, it's just like fast food. Boom, got to have it, got to have it now. If I don't have it, it's not it. And I have to tell you, if you've got it right away, it's not it. Well, you know what, because I think we have many soulmates. I don't think we just have one. And I think people hold out for absolutely the one. I have to tell you, you fall in love many times in your life. And each one of them carry a different part of you. And you hold a lot of who you are within them. So, so soulmates is a word that we use, but I have to tell you, there are many soulmates out there.